This is video 122, Empire Total War, United Provinces. We're fighting the battles on hard, and we're in the middle of the battle. Well, I say in the middle, we're really just in the start. We've lined our troops up, um, yeah, we've um, skipped the deployment phase. The troops are very much in the position that I put them in when I first started, except over to the left, we've formed some in um, square formation. Now, there's an odd thing. You see those exploding shells going off right near my own infantry? Um, obviously I've targeted those um, camels there that you can see when they were right at the back with my howitzers. Now they've moved right to the front, uh, um, knowing that um, my howitzer is going to be firing at them. So you just move them straight in front of my line to invite my guns to fire at my own infantry. It's a very, very naughty sort of AI um, tactic that, but anyhow, there you go. He'll lose his cavalry, who cares. And um, I'll learn my lesson and target my artillery. Uh, or rather watch what I'm targeting my artillery on a bit more closely in the future. Um, he's brought his um, cavalry forward all over the place. He's been shot at by um, three ranks of line infantry that have just virtually blown him away, hit by howitzers um, on the way in as well. He sent some troops to my left flank, and um, all this has been happening, by the way, it's, it's all real time. This I didn't stop the game and, and speed it on or anything. Um, on the last video, we were looking to the left, um, and I'd put my troops into square formation. While that was happening, his troops were all appearing in the centre and on the right and being shot to death by my own troops. Otherwise, I'd have shown you that, but um, I'm just taking these out of the square formation now that his, um, his cavalry have run away. You've got to be careful chasing um, troops like those that are running away with your light cavalry. I've kept my light cavalry back, obviously, so that I can um, chase them away. These are just... Um, local armed peasantry. I've called them Philocon citizenry in the past, or mob, but um, I think they're called um, peasantry in this, in the Indian campaign. I mean, anything that tackles me on that line there at the front is basically just dead meat. Just behind them, um, the grenadiers, the line infantry, I said on the previous video, they're all disabled so that, there's, um, so that they can't uh, fire. No, I don't want them firing through my own troops, I don't need their fire. Um, what I do need is for them to be there with their combat weapons, that's their bayonets fitted, ready to charge through if any weaknesses appear in the line. Uh, I said before, you know, when you're fighting against um, a mainly cavalry army, if you've got uh, artillery, um, it's like um, a candle to a moth, is artillery. It doesn't half bring on their cavalry. It's great. They'll try and run round it, mind you, all the way to the sides, back, everywhere, all over the place. So you need to um, form squares all over. I can chase these away because they're not running through his own infantry. You notice the ones that ran before ran back through infantry and various other units. So anybody routing would have been taken out by his own um, reserves. Even so, can you see that infantry unit marching towards me? It's hoping to get a few shots in, or perhaps a flank attack, against my light cavalry. It is very difficult to chase troops from the field, um, unless they're all going, unless they're all routing. Sometimes troops appear being hidden. It's almost like they've designed it on purpose. We're going to route these where we've got a hidden unit, we'll route them where the hidden unit is, so that his troops will run straight into that unit. Yeah. So you really do have to watch them when you send them off, um, attacking anybody when, when the enemy force isn't yet defeated. He really has very little hope. My um, light cavalry is sitting there like, well, like birds of prey, just waiting, waiting for the moment. Of course, the more people that they kill as well, um, the more their more they improve in terms of their fighting ability. So it's always good in these early stages of the game to get some good experience for your troops by getting their kill rate up. I suppose is the best way to say it. Sounds a bit harsh, but... <laughs> Sad fact of war. You need to have a decent kill rate to gain experience, I'm afraid. So you still got those off there to the left. They're flashing less now, aren't they? Looks like they might come round again, you know, those. 
could well do. So I'll pull my cavalry back a bit, line them up with these. It does look like they're steadying themselves again, doesn't it? They'll be thinking about taking out my artillery at the back, of course. Well, they're not having that. It cost me a lot of money. It's taken me a long time to get this artillery. And I've got very little of it. And I've brought it all the way from Europe. So you're not damn well having it. Just a reminder, I'm attacking these troops because they're sitting on the road between Mysore and Karnataka. I've got a few troops in Karnataka. Um, I've just brought those that were spare from um, Ceylon because um, he, he had nothing at all in Karnataka and it's one of my objectives and it's a lucrative city as well, so I had to go for it really. Um, and now I really want to reinforce it with the troops that I brought over from, from Europe. So I need to get these chaps out of the way. I know some of them are going to get away. Um, that's unfortunate. He's got too many light troops for me to be able to contain this army and defeat the entire army. The idea of this battle really is to clear them out of the way. So the path is open. That's his cavalry over to the left. Are they cavalry or camelry? I'm not too sure. Either way they're mounted. Still got them all in the original formation, so all you have to do is press the forward button on there, and then the forward arrow, and they'll all go as one. It's rare that you can do that at this stage in the battle, but it's almost like there's a second phase of the battle. There's um, a kind of reserve that he's left back there. Presumably he's doing that to hope the time will run out, because if he's got a complete unit and the time runs out, then I've lost the battle. There they are. I hope now, with um, the game being a bit more leisurely, you know, knowing that I'm in control of it, that uh, I should be able to get some close-ups. This is my cavalry that went in pursuit of someone, and I'm now trying to get them out of the way. They're a good target for the enemy. They're quite exhausted. They're on their own. A uh, shot in against them, and then a cavalry charge could well break them. Uh, that's the last thing I want. If you... Um, merge two units, by the way, and one of them's got two chevrons and the other one's got one, then it depends on how many units you've got, how many men, sorry, you've got in your unit of the two or the one chevron. So let's say it was a union for, you know, to, to make it simple, it's a union, a unit, sorry, of, um, a, a, that's got um, 20 men left in it, and you merge it with a unit that's got 21 men left in it. If the one with one chevron has got 21 men in it, then your unit of 20 yeah, will drop a chevron from 2 down to 1, because the majority of the number of people in that unit are then um, one chevron troops. Um, I think, I haven't researched this, but I'm pretty sure that um, if you retain more than half your men in the unit, so a 120 man unit, if you've got 61 in it and you then recruit to that unit then the new recruits come in there and take over the um, experience of the people who are already in there, which is fair enough, you know, it takes um, uh, a move, to two moves in fact, to recruit to say an infantry unit, um, so that's a whole year, so they're with those experienced veterans, so they should pick up their skills maybe with a bit of luck. Anyway, here we go. I've rushed it on a bit. It was taking ages for me to get close, and he kept moving backwards and backwards, and I'm going forwards and forwards. And anyway, it's going to take another ten minutes of your time, so I've speeded that up a bit. That's my how it's a fire going in. He's not happy with that, of course. Uh, a bit on the camelry at the back there as well. Not much longer of this video to show, so um, I just hope to show you um, a few close-ups as the enemy are leaving the field and show you the results of the battle, perhaps on the end of this, or perhaps on the next video.